The even better news is that the founder and the developer of the seven-sided gold die is here today to personally introduce you to this dynamic, systematic approach to collecting your thoughts and solving problems. How many of you ever seen a seven-sided gold die? Anybody? Seven-sided gold die. It's a tool is all it is. It's a tool to help us to organize our thoughts. It has six outsides and one inside. Have you heard the statement about think outside the box? box. <laughs> think outside the box. In this particular case, we're not going to think outside the box. We're going to think from inside, inside the box. Because that box is going to be us. That seventh side is the inside. And what's the most important part about you and I? It's who we are on the inside. It's who we are on the inside. Everything that you're going to accomplish in life is going to come from the inside, from the inside out, right? Everything starts from the inside. All accomplishments. So this is a tool to help us to organize our thoughts. And the way it functions, it just triggers the brain. Has anybody ever seen like a uh, stick and you thought it was a snake and you jumped? Does that ever happen to you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what literally occurs is that your brain was triggered through your sense of sight. But what that tells you is that you can trigger your brain. If you can trigger your brain, then you can take control of your brain. Has anybody ever smelled something and it reminded you of something else? Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Well, literally, it triggered your brain. That smell triggered your brain. Have you ever heard an old song and it reminded you of something else? Mm -hmm. Ducks, okay? Of that means that if we can trigger our brain, we can take what? Control of our brain. We can take control of our brain. You see this muscle right here? I know that if I go over here and get some of these dumbbells, and I begin to exercise this muscle, what happens? Yeah, it's going to begin to grow, isn't it? Now, it's quite obvious that I haven't done too much, Dad. <laughs> I haven't really done any exercise to speak out. But if I choose, I can literally take control of that muscle. I can cause that muscle to begin to grow and to expand because I have an action plan. I have a systematic approach of taking control of that muscle and causing that muscle to do what I want that muscle to do. And it's going to grow. It doesn't have a choice. The same thing is true with our brain. When we decide that we're going to take control of our brain and we apply a systematic approach to taking control of it, we can cause our brain to do exactly what we want to do. And you know the only thing that's got me in trouble in the past? Is my what? Brain. Brain. It's my brain. It's my stupidity. It's my thinking. Right? The things that have caused me to be successful in the past has come from where? Brain. Brain. It comes from your brain. All right, so let's take a look at it. So you know how this works. It works by size. Three is going to teach you something. Five is going to teach you something. Four is going to teach you something. Let's say that we're playing this game, and the game is the game of life. Or racing around this board as fast as we can possibly go. If we roll a three, we get to go three spots. If we roll a five, we get to go five spots. What's the best that we can roll? Six. 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 So six reminds us to do our what? Best. To do our best. To do our best. Now, I want you to actually take a look at this six here. Take a look at that. And what I want you to see is I want you to see two pillars standing on a block of gold. Can you see those two pillars standing up there? Yeah. Those are pillars that you stand up in your life. Anytime that you do your best, you have the ability to stand pillars up in your life. But how do we do that? How do we do our best? How do we stand pillars up in our life? By focusing on one thing at a time. By focusing on one thing at a time. It's the power of focus. Think about everything that you have accomplished. You have taken and focused in on that one thing. And you've been able to do your best on it. And when you do your best, you reap what? Rewards. The rewards. That's exactly right. You reap the rewards from doing your best. Now, each one of you have made a commitment in your life. You've made a commitment to your schooling. You've made a commitment to your family. If you really want to do your best for your family, then you literally have to allow yourself to be focused on each specific area. And right now, for you to do your best for your family, you have to be focused on your schooling. You have to be focused on your career. This actually helped me to think what I'm going to do next. The common denominator of success is that successful people are willing to form the habits of doing the things that failures don't like to do.